Salutations Wet Shaver Spencer here back for another shave video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the wonderful vintage Gillette Tech. This is on the English Fat Handle, I think it's called. Not sure when about it, when about this one was made, but it's made in England. It's beautiful quality. This thing feels awesome. Gillette Tech's fantastic daily shave is one of the best out there. As you can see, some modern equipment have sort of designed themselves on the Gillette Tech. Got a Feather Ace D2, got a similar head design to a Gillette Tech. To me, this does shave a lot better, but it costs a lot more. I would certainly, certainly recommend a Gillette Tech to anyone wanting a nice, reliable daily shaver, easy to use, absolutely fantastic, good against the grain, that all that sort of stuff. Brilliant. I'm not really against the grain shaver. I sort of do along here and a little bit on the neck, but that's where I get most irritation. So, you know, that, that, that I suffer the consequences of doing that. Going to be using some high-end hardware just because it's my last shave of the month. Next month, I'm only going to be using Australian Private Reserve soap, so I cannot wait to try and suck up some of their soaps. Australian Private Reserve, Dan over there is... A legend his soap base is over there fantastic his scents are killer very complex stuff if you like barrister and man with their sort of complex scents you will love Australian private reserve you can get them from maggots you can get them from stray whisker it does awesome limited editions each season which is brilliant one of my favorites is Adoru, which is like an oriental woodsy spice which was super limited edition for a forum then you made like seven that is probably my favorite. I don't know. I, I struggle between that, Bay City, and Coolabar. Those three are just phenomenal. Back, back onto the shave today. I'm going to be using another one of my favorite soap bases. It's in my top three. Eufros. This is the Fougere by Jabbered Man. The, the, these soap bases are ridiculous. This is his tallow base. You can see on the back here. It's got stearic acid, it's got sabo, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> Jojoba, lino, lanolina, lanolina. <laughs> I'm not even gonna bother with Australian accents. <laughs> Karate. <laughs> uh, anyway, totally butchering them, but you know, this soap base, absolutely brilliant. The fougere scent is stunning, it's still, Retains a lot of a soapy sort of smell, but it's got really nice soft grass notes to it. It's not really punchy fern Like um, while we're shaving company is I love that though. That's brilliant. I love punchy fern I would struggle to pick between these two. This is more like cologne sort of based. Oh It's fantastic. I love this I've just sent him an email actually and trying to you know get a hold of the balm and also you know maybe three or four other sets uh, so we'll see, we'll see what happens I'd love to be able to get a couple more in the den just brilliant all right brush as well I think you guys can probably guess if you've been watching my last few videos chubby three Manchurian Absolutely fantastic and the moon java handle. It's just a killer looking brush Absolutely fantastic. The tips aren't gelling or hooking yet, but I think it'll get there man It's really softened up ever since first use first use quite scritchy. I did note that but that's very normal I've, I've got another Manchurian here and that was the same man Started off a little bit scritchy And then it just works its way in this is my other Manchurian. This is a 28 mil Manchurian uh, by Tony Forsyth over at TF Custom Shaving Brushes. I've got this handle based on lapis lazuli. I really like that gemstone, just brilliant. So, got them to base it on lapis. And the amount of water this brush holds. Yes, it is quoted to be 28 or 29 mil or something on the Simpsons website. So many people have taken the knots out of these. They measure 30 to 31. So they underrate their brushes. Fantastic. You pay for what you get even more with Simpsons, but it's stupid expensive anyway. 
Let's just go straight into the lather. Oh, also the blade in the Gillette Tech is easily in my top five. Treat Durasharp. These things are sharp carbon steel. Carbon steel has a few pros and cons. One pro, you can get a slightly sharper edge out of it. A negative, the longevity is quite short. They do rust very quickly. They aren't stainless, so it's not stainless steel. So it rusts pretty quickly. You get maybe two uses out of them, and then they're probably done. So, but they're not as, you know, they're not expensive as feathers or that sort of stuff, but they don't have as sharp an edge as feather. I don't, I don't know what feather do to their blades. It's just phenomenal. All right, warm, warm water. Done probably like a 20 second load in the, in the Chubby 3. Normally I'd load it like I hate it, but we'll see what I can get out of it today. God, I can just picture this being a massive cushion on my face once it's broken in. Once it's splayed, it's quite soft. It's sort of here where it's got a touch of scritch, just where the tips aren't broken in yet. Hasn't got as much scrub as a declaration. Not declaration, seems to feel a little bit denser, but this feels absolutely sublime. The flow through seems a little bit better on this than the declaration. Declaration seems to hold it a bit more, but I have to break this in first to be able to give my full judgment Which it's not even close to broken in yet. So I do want to use this with a lot of the APR shaves that I do next month And I can't wait to do that But the lather this thing makes is insane. I do find this an easier brush to get a lather out of than the declaration. I don't know why, I'm not sure whether it is through superior flow through, in my opinion. I'll, I'll obviously have people that argue that. All the big declaration fans, which don't get me wrong, I'm a huge declaration fan, I love them. Right now, if you ask me to pick between the two, I'd pick my declaration. Just the feeling of it is insane. I love scrub. So I like the feeling of the declaration, but I totally see where the fan base is for Simpsons. They've been around forever. They know high-end brushes inside and out. They are most likely the brand that a lot of uh, artisan brush makers, you know, they pave the way for shaving brushes, man. You got Plasson, you got Simpson, they are huge. Omega. Even Vylon, Vylon with the Epsilon range, which is their like boutique -y sort of range. Are just superb. I really can't wait to get a hold of an Epsilon one day. They look awesome. The knots look fantastic. I've heard brilliant things about Epsilon. All right, back to the Gillette Tech. Beautiful and mild with a really nice sharp blade in here. Should be really good shave today. Got one day's growth. I actually saw what I'm going to try today. Uh, someone recommended with the one blade core that with first pass just do with the grain with long strokes second pass shorter strokes and then third pass across the grain I do want to try that today so we'll see how we go so just long strokes so obviously you're not attacking the skin with the blade as much, which is what I'm used to. I'm normally doing short strokes. So just use it just to wipe off all the excessive hair. And then 
really concentrate on closeness on the second and third passes. So we'll see how that works today. I'm already struggling. But you know, if this gives me a really good shave, then that means I can lather up three times, which is great. Don't get me wrong, I do miss up la miss lathering up the face. I used to do three passes, uh, three pass shades daily, and then I realized that I could get just as close with two passes. Just with a bit more buffing. All right, pass one. It makes for quick shades too with the long strokes. Oh my God. The slickness is beautiful. You frost right up there, mate. Absolutely. I think the fellow that um, makes these is called Manuel. If you watch this video, mate. Superb stuff. For this brush, that was quite a short load too. So I'm expecting to maybe go back to the puck. Just because this brush does need a lot of soap to get going. As you can see, that's already a load thinner than the first lather. That's fine. You can always add more soap, man. Alright, so now shorter strokes with the grain. Straight down on the neck here is pretty much a, a, almost against the grain, so. It'll be interesting to see how the neck holds up. That's why I thought I would test it on this Gillette Tech. Just because it's a milder razor. What do you guys prefer? Do you guys use mild or more aggressive razors? I like either, man. I can switch up between the two. I don't mind doing that. I have a similar debate with people with long and short handles. I do not have a preference. God, this razor's got to be easy to cut yourself with. It is really mild. I know a lot of people would really dislike this razor because it's mild, but me? Me as a daily shaver, I love this razor. Brilliant. Yeah, I don't have a preference with sizes either. I can bounce from these two razors, no problem. You can see the Gillette Tech is a lot shorter than this above the tie, but I don't mind bouncing back between the two, it's not a problem. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> All right, we're, we're just going to go back to the puck. I'm not going to rinse out the brush. Just go back to the puck. Ten seconds. I know, I've, I've, I've seen videos, people just get so shitty whenever that happens, I get it. But to me, this is a luxury hobby. I don't like doing this hobby when I'm in a rush. It's becomes a lot less enjoyable. 
I like to have some time on my hands whenever I shave. Just because it could take, you know, half an hour. And for some people it's just not enough time. Look at that though, like the, the quality of this soap is just phenomenal. I would put Wild West Shaving Company almost on equal um, equal lengths too. They're really close. So if you've used Eufros and you haven't used Wild West Shaving Company, you sort of get what I mean. It's similar. And then same the other way around. If you've used Eufros and not Wild West or Wild West and not Eufros, they're both in terms of quality of the lather. And residual slickness, they are both right up the right up the top, man. All right, cross grain. Well, the razor's gliding faster than I don't want it to with the slickness on this thing. So yeah, guys, I'm very sorry if, um, you know, you get bored of watching me use Australian Private Reserve all next month, but it's just what I'm choosing to do. Hopefully you guys will start to fall in love with Australian Private Reserve as well. And hopefully some of you can uh, save up some funds to uh, pull the trigger on some because really if you want to try an Aussie artisan, APR is up there man. In terms of bases, like soap bases. They're unrivaled in Australia. And just about the world, almost. From my use, from what I've tried. I got my number two spot in my top five. So you know they're not messing around. Just fantastic shave. What a shave, that is phenomenal. The uh, residual slickness, as much as you're ever gonna need. That's awesome shave. What a shave. All right, warm water rinse. <clears throat> what a shave. Oh yeah. All right. Now cold water rinse on the face. Yeah, probably the most common Gillette Tech you'll see is the ball end, which is sort of just on the bottom. It's just got like a ball looking thing. It, look, it, it looks really fancy. Similar to this. A little bit different. This is more of like a bomb shape, but the ball end is a little bit more obnoxious on the ball. <laughs> and that, that seems like a very good design as well for you, you guys that don't like the short handles. Just look for the ball end tech. It's just got a slightly longer handle. I think these English Eng English fat handles, I think that's what they're called. Fat English handle, something like that. Um, they're a little bit harder to find, I think. I wouldn't mind getting this scent away to get fully kitted out, like in a rose gold or something like that. That would be cool. Get replated or something. That'd be nice. 
That's when I'm really feeling adventurous. All right, get the rest of the soap out of the Chubby 3. I do need to remember to, oh, to load it a lot more. Um, it really does need a lot more soap, especially when they're new. Um, once they're a bit more broken and you don't need to load them as heavy, that's what I've noticed with my bigger knots anyway. Um, even with the smaller knots, you sort of notice it, uh, but especially with the bigger knots. So if you're using 28 plus, um, I'd say really just load them heavy. Load them heavy, and then when they start breaking in, you don't need to load them as hard, which is, which is good. And this brush is just feeling awesome on the face. Really good as a daily shaver. See, I think the decoration is almost up there with scrub where it could be too much. So as a daily driver so far, this is really taking the cake. And they're the tips there. So beautiful, like it's just so, it's even density all around. Uh, I know, oh, even the brush here. This is a beautiful brush, don't get me wrong. Made right with the TGN silver tip flat top. So different, but what I wanna show you is you can see the density is mainly in the center. Mainly in the center. And on the outside, it's a little bit looser. Um, to me, I, I think that's mainly a fan thing, just to give it some density when you splay it, because fans are really easily splayed. Um, yeah, as you can see with this, it's just even density all the way around. Love it. Fantastic shave today. Not sure what to use with the post. I sort of feel like using a splash. Um, what do we feel like using today? I don't, I don't really have a fougere base. I've got Brute, but it, that doesn't smell anything like the Eufrost fougere. Nothing like it. So I'm just going to go classic Penaud Clubman. This stuff is fantastic. Brilliant barbershop smell. Oh, I do want to actually mention anyone who goes to buy uh, the Clubman Penaud Shave Cream, which I will review obviously after April, um, this stuff does not lather. Yeah, this cream does not lather, which I wish, I'm just double checking now, I wish this said somewhere on the front that it's brushless. You cannot lather this. I was so disappointed, man. I bought this and it was a pretty good deal anyway. I'll probably, I'll still do a video of it, but just won't be able to use a brush. And you can't lather it. I was so pissed. I put it on my face, started going, and I'm like, what the hell is going on here? And because it's so damn slick, it doesn't rinse out of the brush. Man, that was annoying. It was just a test lather. I didn't attempt to shave or anything. Um, all right, let's go with the Penaud Splash now. Lucky I do have the uh, Penaud Shaving Soap. Whoa. Wow, burn today. Woo. Oh, yeah. Oh. I like to use lots of splash, though, and I like to refill on for the neck, too. I don't, I don't wussy out with uh, splashes, mate. I love them. Oh. Man, it's been a while since I used a splash. Oh, great. That's really good. Oh, their splash is a really high quality feeling too. I love, I love them. Really, really good. Awesome, guys. Eufrost, beautiful, beautiful soap. Gillette Tech, absolutely killer this thing. Really close shave today. That. That three pass is actually really comfortable. You guys, if, if um, you guys uh, want to try that at home, give it a go. Post in the comments and let me know how it went, or send me a message on Instagram, something like that. Spence shaves. I'm on Instagram. I love uh, love posting stuff on there. So jump on there, send me a message. So one pass, long strokes. Don't worry about the clock. It's hard, <laughs> but don't worry about you know going back over the same spot twice. It, even if you can just go down, down, like the whole way across, and then just do short with strokes. I mean, I don't think it's for the BBS shaver. Like, it's it's close, though. Like, DFS, easy. DFS Plus, like, really, really good. Really high quality. We use the Simpson Chubby 3 Manchurian. This thing is breaking in like a boss. Absolutely love it. 
I'm actually the, the, I'm thinking about doing this joke video. I've got this massive fruit bowl, big like steel fruit bowl, and I want to do a big lather in it. See if I can, you know, I'll just pour a shitload of cream or something in there. Just something stupid to post. <laughs> More stupid stuff to post. Um, yeah, Gillette Tech, the Treat Dura Sharp. These are phenomenal blades. Absolutely fantastic. What a shave. Pinnell Clubman, fantastic. I hope you guys have as good a shave as that. That was absolutely phenomenal. I've got to use some more tan skin to sort of clear up some spots that I've got. Not worrying about them, they don't hurt. Hope you guys have fantastic shaves. Take care of yourselves. Everyone stay positive. Keep smiling. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Make someone smile today. Go on. Don't be a loser. Catch you.